What's good? Listen. Everybody listen up. All right, I didn't get to watch the game last night because I was DJing a Halloween party. And I'm pissed off. I'm actually pissed off that I agreed to do that party. I'm upset because I missed a Tyrese Maxey arrival party. I missed a Tyrese Maxey coming out party to play music for drunk people in Halloween costumes. Now, that's the last time DJ Eastwood is officially retired. I'm not doing it anymore. Anyway. Tyrese Maxey deniers have a lot of explaining to do. The Tyrese Maxey deniers have a lot of explaining to do. I got comments all last season, all off season, even just two days ago. Tyrese Maxey's nice, but he's never going to be a star. And for some reason, these people think that they can assess a player at 21 years old. For some reason, these people think that they can tell you what a player is going to be when he's been in the league for two, two and a half seasons at the time, or three seasons. And I kept reminding them Tyrese Maxey averaged more points per game last season on better efficiency at that age than Steph Curry and Damian Lillard did at that age, which should prove your point null and void right off rip. You can't predict what somebody's going to be. A lot of y'all are glass half empty motherfuckers. That's what this is. You live your life that way. Everything that happens, you look at it and say, this is going to be bad. How can I ruin this? How can I predict that this isn't going to work? same way you can try to predict that Tyrese Maxey couldn't be what he is becoming, we predicted pretty easily that he can be what he is becoming. Because all the signs were there. All the signs were there. The progression every every offseason, coming into the league as a 29% three-point shooter, fell in the draft because of his three-point shooting in college, fell in the draft because he's undersized. And in one offseason, became one of the best three-point shooters in the entire NBA. If that doesn't tell you that this kid can progress into superstardom, I don't know what will. If somebody jumps up a flight of stairs, what the hell's telling you they can't jump up five more flights of stairs? Every single offseason, this kid goes into the lab and says, what do I need to work on? What do I need to get better at? And he works on it every single day. And he gets better at it because he works on it every single day. It's not that complicated. I was a Jalen Hurts denier. After the first season that he started at quarterback, I said, this guy can't throw out of the pocket. This guy can't throw a long ball out of the pocket. He went in there in the offseason, and he worked on that one issue every day. And the next season, he was worlds better in that specific department. And I was wrong about Jalen Hurts. Tyrese Maxey, same situation. You put in the work, it's going to show. So the main uh, thing this season was, okay, Tyrese Maxey became a great three-point shooter. He became a great NBA scorer. He could average 25 points per game if given the keys to the offense. But he can't play point guard. But he can't facilitate. He can't pass the ball. He can't read the floor. He can't run an offense. He can't make a decision at the top of the key. He went in the lab, off season number three, and he worked on that specific thing. And Tyrese Maxey is out there with the ball in his hands, running the offense, making decisions, reading the floor, and literally facilitating. I know it's only been two games in a long regular season, but damn, Tyrese Maxey just opened up the NBA season with two 30-point 
seven assist games. 31 and eight, two nights ago. 34 and seven, last night. Now, Maxie Deniers, I want you to go right in these comments and I want you to say, I'm sorry, Tyrese Maxie. That's what I want you to do. I want you to own up. I want you to man up. Put your big boy pants on. Go right in these comments and say, I'm sorry, Tyrese Maxie. And we'll, we'll squash the beef, all right? We'll call it even. We'll act like you didn't do what you did. Other than that, you know, Eagles play at one, so I, I just, you know, I ran, everything kind of ran together. I don't really have time to rewatch the game and talk about it, especially because the Sixers play again tonight. Um, but I did see the Joel Embiid, at least stat-wise. You guys can explain to me, you know, in the comments, maybe what you thought Joel Embiid looked like. Uh, it looked just box score watcher, just being a box score watcher today. It looked like Joel Embiid had a much better performance just two nights after uh, looking very rusty in game one. Um, the thing that jumps out to me on that box score is eight assists and one turnover for Joel Embiid. Eight assists and one turnover. He almost had a 30-point triple-double, 34-9-8 and eight with one turnover. So you tell me, did what did did what I said need to happen? Did it happen? Less Joel Embiid ISO, more moving the ball, and more Tyrese Maxey control in the offense? Let me know what you saw, you know, in the comments. And then my final question on this video, which, by the way, shout-out to Kelly Oubre for putting up an 18-piece. Shout-out for Tobias Harris for putting up a 15-piece. If you can get 15 and 15 from those guys every night, you got to <laughs> – if you can get – Bro, if you're getting 30 from Maxi and Embiid and you can get 15 and 15 from Tobias and, and, and Kelly Oubre, you might have a pretty damn good team on your hands. All right? So my last question here is, do you want James Harden to join this team? Sixers play tonight in Philly, which, by the way, you play a damn back-to-back you were in Toronto last night. You fly out of Canada all the way back to Philadelphia and play the next day. Thanks, NBA. What kind of schedule is that? But home opener tonight, 7.30 in the Wells Fargo Center. I guess James Harden's going to play. I don't know. I, do you guys have any news, any info? Because I... He showed up and, and wanted to fly with the team. They said no. Now the Sixers are might get fined because he's healthy. So I I don't want Harden to play. And here's why I don't want Harden to play. Not because James Harden wants traded. You got to get James Harden out of here. Not just because James Harden wants traded. You got to get James Harden out of here because you have to give the keys of the offense to Tyrese Maxey. It's Maxey season. It's time to buy in 100% on this kid. It's time to back him 100%. And all bringing James Harden back to this offense is going to do is take the ball away from Tyrese Maxey. Don't bring him back, please. At this point, Daryl Morey, accept that nobody wants Harden. Accept that you're not getting a star in return. And trade this guy for a goddamn bag of potato chips. Or a crumble cookie. Whichever you prefer, Daryl Morey. It's Max A. Season! Let's go! And go birds. We out here.